Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Welcome back to another episode of the SEO.co podcast. Today, we're kicking off a two-part series, The Ultimate Guide to PPC Remarketing. Bring users back when they don't convert. Remarketing and retargeting are useful components of Google Ads and a crucial part of any PPC marketing campaign. That is, if you understand and use it correctly. Before we break down how to best use PPC remarketing to increase the return rates of online customers, we'll explain exactly what it is, how it works, and ways to use it. Marketers may know what remarketing is, but even experts may find that they don't know everything about it. This guide will help to plug those gaps and become the ultimate resource for people using PPC marketing. So let's ask, what is remarketing? Remarketing is essentially targeting ads to existing customers based on customer data. The types and variety of ads will differ based on the customer preferences, market data, and a number of other factors. This type of marketing is highly effective at getting existing shoppers to return to a site once they've already visited. It works by showing them things they may be interested in. This can be sales, new products, add-ons to existing products and services, new content on the site, and other types of marketing material or promotions. The purpose is to increase the rate of repeat customer traffic through highly specific targeted marketing. The one thing to note about remarketing strategies is they rely on existing customer data to perform well. Remarketing is not a customer acquisition strategy, so the distinction should be made. You can't collect customer preference data on people who aren't your customers yet, right? So basically, before you even begin a remarketing campaign, you need customers who are already interested in your site, who have at least visited your site before. That's step one, so remember it. The reason customer data is needed for remarketing, besides the fact that it targets customers' interests, is that the primary way that remarketing data is collected is through everyone's favorite internet snack food, cookies. In this case, we're talking about specific tracking cookies that are stored on users' browsers and then used to follow them around the web and show them remarketing ads. Okay, maybe it's not that specific, but you get the general idea. This can be done with a click of a button in Google Ads. It's a button labeled Remarketing. It allows you to set the tracking cookie requirements based on several different factors, duration of stay, pages visited, etc. Every time a customer visits your site, cookies are collected, which store a variety of user data that is relevant to your marketing work. Part of that data allows you to target customers with ads so that they will be more likely to visit your site and shop again. This is essentially why it's called PPC remarketing. You're performing targeted marketing to existing customers or interested parties, hence you're remarketing to them. So now that you know a little bit about remarketing and how the data is gathered, as well as what it's used for, you can begin to formulate a remarketing strategy to get those customers and potential customers returning and converting, hopefully again and again. To facilitate an easier understanding of the strategizing process, we'll break down the process into pieces that'll be more digestible, even for the marketing novice. We realize some of you listening may already have a great deal of marketing space, but we like to cover our bases. This is the ultimate guide, after all you'll need to separate your visitors into different audiences. This is also called segmenting. It basically means dividing your potential remarketing audience into different groups or ad target types. This should be fairly straightforward and based on the data acquired. Segmenting your audience ensures that you're not targeting the wrong type of ads to the wrong people. You want your ad usage to be as highly targeted as possible with remarketing, and dividing up your audience helps to facilitate that. Next up, decide what types of remarketing ads to run. There are numerous types of ads, and deciding which types of ads to run for your target audience will be based on the data you have available and what works best for that particular audience. There are enough ad types to create an entirely separate section, so we'll break down the ad types and their uses elsewhere. One thing to note about picking your ad types is that Google allows you to create lists based on your ad type preferences for the audience. Additionally, you can filter data and sort targets based on many factors. This helps you to decide what types of ads may work best. After all, different types of people have different search habits, such as how prone they are to search on mobile, how likely they are to watch video ads, and other things. Next, test and retest. As with anything in marketing, before you know what really works, you'll have to test it first. In the case of PPC retargeting, you may have lots of customer data, but that doesn't mean you can always account for individual taste. 
That's why it's important to test your marketing efforts and allow the data to coalesce until you're sure of what is and isn't working. Like any other marketing strategy, pulling the plug too early on a campaign means wasted efforts. But by the same token, letting a bad campaign run too long is wasted money and effort as well. Test your methods and figure out what works, what kind of works, and what doesn't work at all. And lastly for this episode, optimization is key. Like every other ad you'll ever run, search engine optimization is key. Once you have a good idea of what works, you can begin to optimize for search engines. This is pretty much the same process as a regular ad, just more specified to your target audience. This includes optimizing for conversions too. Sale ads, special features, and other types of ads that show customers what they're missing out on is one great example of ways to optimize conversions when remarketing. And that's all we've got for this episode. Join us next time as we wrap up this series as we dive right in to Google Ads to set up lists and remarketing targets. Thanks again for listening to the SEO.co podcast. We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.